everybody. Welcome to another um, Arcade of Madness controller review. This episode, the Xbox 360 controller. Um, now, I did the Xbox One controller yesterday, and um, so I thought it would be a good idea to do the Xbox 360 controller as well. So, um, introduced in 2005 by Microsoft as part of the, ga the greatest video game console in history, and, um, in my opinion, at least, because Xbox 360 is my favorite video game console ever. So, um, the buttons are good, um, the buttons are really good, um, they're pretty much the same as the original Xbox, um, and then in 2013, Microsoft would introduce something new with these buttons for the Xbox One controller, um, triggers are... Okay, I guess they're not as silent as the Xbox One. Um, the buttons up here are pretty good. And then these always remind me of, like, the early PlayStation controllers. These buttons up here. And, oh, I got, I, I accidentally just turned it on. Um, um, but one thing I, the joysticks are kind of vulnerable because, um, my dog had eaten this up, this part up. Um, so they're kind of vulnerable. And, um, the D-pad on this sucks. Just, just saying. The D-pad on here sucks. Just flat out sucks. And then, um, one thing that separates this from the Xbox One is now when you take out the battery slot, you take out the batteries with it. So, once again, I use rechargeable batteries for this. And, um, um... Turning it on will sort of re revolve a light thing, um, and like I said, these buttons here sort of remind me of the earlier PlayStation systems, like the PlayStation, like the Sony PlayStation, the PlayStation Two, and PS Three. And um, um, not only that, these th this thing fits into your hands just so well. Um, Microsoft, Microsoft definitely did us a favor by creating this thing. Um, um, and then they made the Xbox One controller, which was even better. And, um, yeah, Xbox, Microsoft kind of did us a favor here with the, um, with the Xbox 360 controller. Um, although the... Um, joysticks, the thumbsticks are a bit bulky, the D-pad sucks, and the, and, and, like, it, uh, um, I, for one, think that the, it's kind of big, but then you think of the original Xbox controller, which just dwarfs it, um, and, um, there's not much to be said about this controller, other than I really like it, um, very similar to the Nintendo GameCube controller, fits into your hands very well. Um, joysticks, unlike the Playstations, that don't go, like, here and here. Um, and that's all there really is to say about this thing. Next time, I'll probably be we reviewing the Nintendo Wii Remote. So, hope, stay tuned for that, and see you next time.